what's up guys this is sam one shot over here and this is me bringing you the third war of alliance season 17 uh, we are up against vendex which is also known as cerbero they are an italian alliance and i have a lot of friends in here i know all of them i used to play in this uh, alliance in a way uh, when it was called aqua and they're really really good uh, i know all of them as i was saying they've been in masters for the last like six seven seasons they also made third place one season they've been consistently like fighting to like make top three every season so yeah they're pretty good but um we're kenobi so you know it's it's a different story and uh, this war was held on my birthday so i was excited at the same time but as uh, as, I, as i was also saying i was a bit busy given my birthday and here on path three like always i have a sentinel and as you can see he's almost down like and it's a pretty straightforward fight He's in Quake, Psychic Thorns, no hitting, no damage taken back. So yeah, it's pretty pretty easy. And as you can see, he just drops. So uh, I didn't have any other champ before uh, uh, Quake, uh, before Sentinel, sorry, on my path. So I just had the Sentinel and Iron Man Infinity War. And yeah, uh, I'm used to all these fights. So nothing new, nothing different. It's a straightforward fight. Uh, as I was saying, I'm used to now uh, most of the times to fight against rank three. So. When I see a rank 2 or a rank 5, it doesn't uh, make much of a difference to me. And so, yeah, it's uh, it's pretty easy and stuff. Uh, yeah, I'm taking in here Neymar against Iron Man Infinity War, uh, even though it's class disadvantage, but Neymar is an excellent matchup for this Iron Man Infinity War. Uh, also, uh, they didn't place uh, Flow, as I, as I noticed, as we noticed, and as their global node, they placed Siphon. So this is the second time in a row where as our BG and I think even the other BGs they had a Siphon. So yeah, I, I don't know why people still play Siphon if it's too easy in a way and Flow is really OP. So uh, when you see that you already are a bit more like chill, relaxed and stuff. And here you're seeing I'm draw Iron Man in Infinity War, he's just dropping, Neymar is just killing him through. And I decided to throw my SP3 over here because I didn't. I saw that Iron Man Infinity War didn't have any armor buffs up. So I realized that he would just drop immediately in a way. As you can see, the SP3 did kind of a lot of damage. And here, just by throwing my heavy, he just drops. So a very, very good fight. No damage taken. I just hit him like a truck. And here I started to have problems with my internet, I guess. And as you can see, it's showing internet connection problems. I was really, really scared at this point. I thought like... Oh my god i'm gonna have to like do the fight again or like it didn't count as a fight but thankfully that went w really well and the internet did resume back to its good connection problems and uh, here i have uh, on path one Sabertooth. as you can see i still was boosted up by my previous fights so i decided to take uh, this uh, last fight for the in the evening the day before my birthday and uh yeah so i was like okay i'll take in warlock should be pretty good pretty easy in a way and no problem and stuff and yeah it's uh this war actually goes well i was aiming to get mvp for this war actually i even asked my uh bg uh leaders and officer i was like yo can you just give me mvp once in a while for my uh birthday gift and stuff because i want to like really do like you know just, just just get the mvp as a title you know for my as a birthday gift and stuff and so uh, uh they kind of like gave it to me but like it, it didn't end up really well as you'll see towards the end i'll show it to you but yeah here you see saber to drop and for the night i'm done over here so the next day uh i had this cap i had to you know, clear all these three nodes captain marvel uh dormammu and uh red skull so i'm taking in quake again over here no kind of issues i was pretty much relaxed for this i didn't use any kind of uh loyalty boost and destructibility and vulnerability boost i just was like i even used in the the day after i used like a 20 percent boost because i was like okay yeah we by this time like the war was pretty much secure we had already won they were way ahead that they, they died a lot of times so i was pretty relaxed and the whole alliance was relaxed even though i thought they would give us a really hard time but it didn't happen unfortunately i mean just because they're italian so i thought they would be really good and they are but you know when they face kenobi it's a different kind of story and stuff so here you're seeing it's like 40 seconds into the game into the war matchup and iron Man, uh, captain marvel she's dropping really fast no issue no issue over here as you can as you can imagine and yeah 
uh, well, uh, basically it's just uh, it's a pretty straightforward fight, nothing different, no rank 5, and you're gonna see she just drops. So a minute, per, per, precisely a minute into the, uh, into the match and she just drops. And here I'm gonna have a bit of an issue with this Dormammu, not for my gameplay, but because I didn't put my uh, phone uh, notifications and phone calls on silent, and as I told you it was my birthday, so people were calling me and they were sending me text messages wishing me happy birthday. And uh, so, uh, in the middle of this fight, the, um, it, the screen recording, it stops because somebody just calls me and I was into Dormammu's fight and he was going to land the heavy on top of me. So I was like, oh my god, I had to like um, uh, refuse the phone call and uh, resume the, um, the match with uh, Dormammu. So yeah, you're going to see it's going to cut short over here, but I don't die any sort of thing. It's just a pretty straightforward fight. I put in a regen boost over here because I didn't want to use too many potions for uh, Quake to like heal her up and stuff but yeah I mean a uh, pretty straightforward fight no kind of issues I didn't want to do any take any block damage because it's siphon so I was yeah but I just do some kind of like uh, at times it, it just happens and stuff and here in this fight and you're gonna see there you go it just cuts off because somebody called me I had to refuse and I had to go back the screen recording stopped and yeah it, it sucked but still I mean I, he dropped I didn't die so no worries about that. It's a, it's a pity. It's a shame. Uh, I forgot about it. But you know, hey, it's your birthday. You gotta answer the phone calls. You just don't gotta. You can't always, uh, uh, you know, refuse all these important moments of life, especially when it's your birthday. So here I have Red Skull against. Uh, I'm going in again with Quake against Red Skull. He's it's a stun immune fight, so it could be a bit of an issue getting all the concussions on top of him. He's pretty in this fight. He was I was seeing he was really aggressive. He was just continuously just trying to hit me and I was just doing my quake and shake style so yeah I was always I was trying to pay attention on how many concussions I can get on him but yeah I was just like let me just focus on getting this um, this uh, matchup uh, and finishing it really well without dying and at this point I was like uh, it was before my lunch time so I was uh, as we all know we're in lockdown so it's like no fancy fancy kind of like lunches outside in restaurants it's all at home so but it's still I was like you know, I just don't want to like uh, bother about the game at this point of the of the day. I want to just in, cut cut my cake. You know, have a sip of a glass of nice wine, relax, chill. And so I was like asking the officers, uh, "Hey, uh, what's what? What am I going to do? Which uh, mini nose am I going to take and give me MVP and stuff?" So. Uh, one of my officers was really kind. He was like, "Okay, take my minis." It's like you know, in a joking way, but of course, uh, who wouldn't like to chill and get other people done? Or do the, uh, the take the notes and stuff. So he told me to take in this uh, guillotine 2099 and Punisher as well. So I'm just going in. As I told you, the war has at this point we already won. There was no kind of issue. Uh, Vendex, they they were they they were dropping, and so uh, no no problems and stuff over here. And this fight as well, it's pretty straightforward. There's nothing difficult about it. I mean, uh, I was, to be honest, at this point, I mean, I'm pretty much comfortable taking Quake with every with anyone. And you know, it's as long as it's a, it's a Quakeable fight. Uh, that's a new word. <laughs> I should invent that. As long as it's a Quakeable fight, uh, there's no kind of issue with me taking in uh, Quake and uh, you know doing my gameplay and stuff. And as you can notice, even this is a stun immune fight, so even that, it's not an issue. It's pretty straightforward. As long as you can play Quake and you're confident in using her, she's the she's the best. And I hope they get a six star version out of Quake. I seriously would love to get my hands on a six star, but kind of doubt they'll do that because she's so OP right now. And plus, they're trying to like put in all these counters like Mole Man and you know other champs and stuff. Uh, here I saw Guillotine 29 starting to regen. I got a bit, uh, took me by surprise, but I was like, okay, it didn't regen that much. So I was like, okay, it's cool. You know, it's two minutes, it's uh, a minute into the matchup and she's down already. So basically that's the average time for a quick fight. If you are boosted and if you're playing really well in Alliance War, it's about a minute, um, a quick fight. That's why I just got to love her. And uh, yeah, uh, what else? Uh, this is the next uh, one. This is a limber node as well. This is the last mini. Uh, this is the last fight I'll be taking into this uh, war. And uh, well, no kind of uh, issues. It was, you know, pretty easy placement as well, I guess. You know, when you see Siphon and you see no flow, you just feel much, much better. And uh, yeah, 
so here the only thing i was worried about is the limber like you know he would like you know recover too fast from the stun immunity so i was just paying attention to that i was trying to not get hit and you know just do my stuff over here it could have been a longer fight but you know in the end of the day it just goes pretty well you know i don't even have nick fury but just quake is so her concussion trauma damage is so good that it's just you just you, she just drops like uh, opponents here I let go of my heavy by mistake, I shouldn't have, you know, I should try to like kind of improve on this aspect of Quake, you know, dropping the heavies because sometimes they, they come so close to you, you don't even have the time to do your dexterity that you just drop the heavy and so sometimes I can catch you off guard and it can cost you uh, a war or even a, a game matchup. See here again, I just go and just drop it, it's something which you have to be really really careful about um, as a Quake player. Be careful with those heavies to all of you out there. And here you can see it's a minute and 40 seconds. It's a little bit longer, as I told you, it's a limber node. So he's kind of like, you know, recovering too fast from the stun immunity. So no concussions, but still no kind of problems and stuff. He's down in a minute and 30. And yeah, that's the end of my alliance war for this one. We won as an alliance. Shout out to all the MVPs again. I didn't make it into top three, although I would have loved to have made it for my birthday gift. But yeah, I made it into top five, so still so it's not bad, but I'm trying to get my hands onto the top MV3, M3 MVP. So take care, everybody, take, and see you soon. Bye-bye. Ciao, ciao.